Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you a little bit about form and structure. Uh, and what I mean by that is how to format a piece when we start adding measures and we add rehearsal marks and we maybe we add some repeats and maybe our first or second ending, things like that. How does it actually work? So again, to add measures, you, could, you really can click anywhere in the staff and just Apple B to add measures at the back end of the piece. All right. Now let's say we have we put a rehearsal mark here, and after that rehearsal mark, let's say I wanted a four measure intro, but I only have three measures here. What I could do is click here on that measure, hit Shift Apple B, and that will put an additional measure here. So now I've got four measures before A. So if you want to insert a measure, which is different from adding it to the back end, if you want to insert a measure, click on the measure where that insert is to go, shift Apple B, and that will do it. Otherwise, you would just hit Apple B to add, keep adding measures at the back end. All right, and so let's see how many measures we got here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Um, so that's fine for now. I don't, I don't, know where this is going to go, but let's just see. We'll have some fun with it. I'll show you some features. So uh, for right now, I'm going to take this letter A off. I just wanted to show you how you can insert a measure there. Now, let's just write something out. And maybe before we do, let's think about meter. Let's say two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. First eight measures are in four, four. Okay, so then let's put a rehearsal mark here so that I know that those next few measures here, this is where we're going to start a new section. And in this section, let's say one, two, three, four measures are going to be in a different meter. For meter, we type a T for time. So T, and then we're going to go in here and we're going to say, well, these are in three, four. I click three, four, and now you'll see three, four for those four measures. Then it'll take you back to four, four since that was your original. But then let's say these four measures are going to be in a different time also. So we'll hit T again, and they're going to be six, eight. So I click six, eight. Now we've got six, eight time there, and we'll put a rehearsal mark there, new section. I'm going to push that down a little bit. And then the last section here, we're going to finish these two measures in, oh, let's go back to three, four. And so I'm going to go to T and choose three, four. And then I'm going to put a rehearsal mark there. 